Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Joe from Fandroid. Today, we're taking a look at a brand spanking new Twitter client called Flamingo. This is made by the developer who made Weather Timeline, which is a beautiful weather app. And Flamingo is just as beautiful as Weather Timeline. Uh, it just released a couple days ago. It's in beta right now, so let's take a look. So here's your main feed. Uh, it's separated into tabs across the top, which can be customized. I have timeline mentions and a custom uh, Twitter list that I have. Uh, there's a compose button in the bottom here that is a material design fab button. In the sidebar, we have a few more uh, places that we can quickly jump to. So mentions, direct messages, activity, profile lists, and settings. You can go to my profile, and this is what my profile looks like. It changes the colors of the profile uh, based on your profile photo. So if I go to a different one here, you can see that one's red. Uh, so that's one of the cool things about this. Uh, it also changes the color of links. So these are um, quoted tweets, and some of these are links, uh, and it changes the color based on the image. So. Uh, this is an image that has yellow in it, and so it has a yellow there. And when you tap on a tweet with a single tap, it's going to open up an expanded view, and you have options to reply, retweet, uh, favorite, quote, and all that good stuff. And you can hit this button to see the tweet in its own little window, or a shortcut is you can just long press, and it's going to jump to this page here, and we can see some more information. And the same applies for photos. So there's a photo in this tweet. I can tap on it, and it's going to bring it up into the photo viewer. Or I can just hold my finger down, see it in a preview, and when I pull my finger away, it goes. So that's a cool way to scroll through your feed and quickly look at photos without really having to jump back and forth between pages. So the app looks great, uh, but the power really is in the settings because there's a lot of different ways you can actually change the way that it looks. So in the theme settings, there's a bunch of preset themes here. I'm using one called Nexus, but you can see there's a bunch of different ones that are preset. And if you want, you can actually go a step further and change the colors yourself. Uh, so on this page, you could just choose your own custom colors and make your own theme. We also have some layout options. And this is where you can change uh, the way that the tabs look and the way that uh, navigation works and things like that. And there's also night mode. So after 7 p.m., it will go into a night mode, which basically makes it a uh, black theme. In the navigation settings, this is where you can customize the tabs across the top. So as you saw, I had the timeline mentioned in sports. But if I wanted to add another page, I could do that as well. And here's all the things that you can put up there. You can go into the fonts and text and change the size of the font. You can change the line spacing to really cram in more text. And then you have notification settings, obviously. There's a cool power saving mode, uh, which will take your notifications and refer them to a later time to save power so it's not constantly checking. And then there's accounts where you can add multiple accounts, which is nice. And then we have some advanced settings here. You can have links open in Chrome custom tabs. Here you saw the uh, hover preview. Um, you can have it vibrate for that. Different themes for different accounts, uh, autoplay gifts, and uh, swap regular and long press for tweets. So you saw when I was long pressing, I could actually have that um, just be the regular tap. Uh, and that was another thing that I forgot to show you. If I long press on a profile, it pops up that information there too. To compose a tweet, uh, just hit the compose button, and then we have all the options that you would see on Twitter. Uh, the GIF is kind of a cool one that you don't see in a lot of third-party apps. It opens a GIFy window here, and then I could, you know, grab this, and it's going to put that in there for me, which is really cool. Switching accounts is easy. You can do it from up here, or you can do it uh, in here and just tap the profile photo and switch back and forth. But that's Flamingo. It's one of the nicest Twitter apps that I've used in a long time. It's in beta right now, uh, and it's 99 cents. When it loses the beta tag, you're not going to have to buy it again. It's going to be the same app. It just won't say beta. Um, it's only been out for a while, so if you're looking for a new Twitter app to try, this is one that you should definitely check out. Thanks for watching, guys.